I'll never learn. Morning, Siegfried. Eivor, it was a rough night. I drank too much and I am desperate to calm my belly. I cannot help your belly. But could you tell me what you know of this man, Thorstein? Ah, Da told you I tried to join his gang, eh? Thorstein is a real vikinger. Like you, but louder. You weren't allowed to join. Too young and gangly. Amar wouldn't even show me where his hideout is. Tell me a bit about this Amar. Likes her ale the way kittens like milk. Spent her time getting tiddly on the docks, chatting up passersby. I will speak to her. Perhaps Thorstein will regret not letting you in his gang. Listen to me. If you're smart, you won't cross Ama. She's a vicious fighter. I need your eyes, my friend. Enjoy her ale. Likely to be a mom. What are you drinking, friend? The finest ale in town. I like fine things, so you have my attention. What are you doing here, darling? Looking for a good drink and good company. You stumbled into the right ale house. Excellent ale and better conversation. The ale leads to chatting, leads to. Well, who knows? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Keep going. I'm, I'm still thirsty. Come now, darling. Stop before you make a sick mess. You are a compelling woman. What is it you do? You may have heard of Thorstein. I'm one of his most trusted friends. I have heard of him. Very impressive that he trusts you. He's like a brother to me. A not very bright brother. He entrusted me with a key to his secret lair. He has a lair? I would very much like to see that. Over in Dupke Landing? <laughs> Sorry. Thorstein would get all pouty. But perhaps you'd like to join me for a meal? I'd rather join you for something else. <laughs> Ooh, can't wait to find out what that is. But hold that thought. I don't feel well. I best move about a bit. If they see me, this will get messy. I need to get that key from her.
trusting fool. Your key is mine. Now to find Thorstein's hideout. Sunan, guide me. Mistake when you came for Barith, Makiva. Oh, gods! You plan to kill me? Give my head to whatever Irish master you and Barith serve. I serve no Irish master. Borskat! If you had any Norse loyalty, you'd be like me, running the filthy god eaters from the island. The king of Dublin should look out for Vikings, not try to make nice with those cunts who killed our forebears. Join me. I could use someone with real balls. And the silver is good. Be silent, and I might show you mercy.
calm and refuse. Delivered to your judgment, King Baris. Thorstein, author of the plot to waylay me and my cousin. Well, you know how it is, Baris. A fellow needs some silver. A king could fetch Dublin's treasury in ransom. Although I'm not certain you'd bring in quite so much. Say so, Barith, and I will cut out his insolent tongue. On your feet, Thorstein! You bloody <sighs> my floors. <sighs> it is a weighty decision. I would have my closest friend advise me. Eivor? How shall I deal with this ruffian? People delight in public spectacle. Torture the man until he cannot walk, and no one will dare crush you again. Well said, Eivor. I want no blood feud lasting generations, Thorstein. You are not worth the bother. Dublin confiscates your land and silver. I banish you forevermore. Be gone by sundown. Bend the knee and show your thanks. Best to you, King. I've better places to be than Dublin. Father! Why choose weakness? Give every enemy a length of rope. Soon they will carry your noose. Peace! Flanchina will soon rule all Ireland. Flanchina has the power to make or undo my kingship and that of my son. He is the center of all. But Flan distrusts me. He does not believe I'm truly Christian. By showing Christian mercy, I begin to change his mind. You are more shrewd than I took you for, cousin. Maybe Thorstein's release is worth a kingdom, but will mercy be enough? That is why I must build trade. Flan will see that the strength of Dublin's ports is the strength of Ireland. Show him the power of that trade, cousin. Obtain some rare item from afar, some spice or gem or weapon. And gift it to him at the coronation. It will represent Dublin's reach, and help secure my crown! Flan will hear of your Christian mercy. Meantime, I will speak to Asara about a gift. Meet me before the coronation. We will go together. Eivor, welcome to my shop. I came to ask a favor. It is pleasant to strengthen friendships. What do you seek? Barith wishes to show Flan the value of Dublin's trade. Could we obtain a gift from a distant land? This is the very problem vexing me. You see, I have acquired land in Rathdown, previously owned by Thorstein, in fact. But the land has gone to Thorn and Dog, smugglers as well. Once cleared, its trading route will serve our heart's desire. In this case, my heart desires an exotic gift, which would be... A spice merchant I know covets pelts of fine fur. Rathdown has an abundance. It is a perfect match. Spice is a gift fit for a king. Thank you, Asar. It is north of here. You go clear it of smugglers while I sit on my ass. No need for thanks. Wrath down is north of Dublin. I should journey there. What will you get out of us? 
Guards here are vigilant. <laughs> Smugglers. The Zara needs them cleared away. Ah, you rat! <laughs> Won't take long! You are one of Azar's men. I am. Azar tells me you two are interested in furs to trade for a gift. You'll show King Flan the reach of Barith's trade. We'll get the furs you need. How can I help? With trade post supplies. We'll build up the post for better and faster trade. Where would I get these supplies? Monasteries are a good place. They'll have what you need. I'm curious how you and Azar work together. I gather pelts, treat them, and send the fur to Dublin. Azar trades them across the seas. We want to build up the post, both to send bundles of furs to Azar more often, and to store more to send. Ireland must have many trading posts. It does. Each post trades specific goods. Here, we gather furs. But elsewhere, all manner of things. Thank you, friend. Goodbye, Eivor.
Let's go. Master! Come here! 
build something. Done. We'll send the furs to Dublin. Azar will help you find more posts to capture. Goodbye, friend. Eivor, the first have arrived from Rastan. We can... Azar, you have your trade post. In fact, I have heard from the trader himself. We have furs enough for Flan's gift. Here, my friend, make the trade. Fine spices that cannot be obtained anywhere else. I will see them delivered for the coronation. Flan will certainly grasp the strength of Dublin's trade. Speaking of, Eivor, there are abandoned trade posts across Ireland. You're suggesting I claim them to increase Dublin's reach? We will gain access to goods we could not otherwise obtain. There is great bounty to be had. I will look for opportunities. Meanwhile, I'll find Barrett. He'll be pleased to hear Flan's gift. Why, hello, Eivor. Care to indulge in profitable commerce? Perhaps that... Farewell, Eivor. <laughs> <laughs> 